Hello YouTube, I nearly kicked off without you and started going on with the siege nonsense before even starting to record. What, what a what a nonny. What a nonny? What is a nonny? It's just a made up word. It probably means something. I mean, I nearly said a word that was pretty bad, but not that one. Not new. Different N word. It's bad to be called, but not sort of that bad. I feel like I have to say it now just to prove. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this is a bad start to a YouTube video. This is absolutely the worst possible scenario that could have unfolded, barring me being physically attacked by an intruder in my house. Um, anyway, where were we? Uh, let's pretend none of that happened and um, go straight into the action. Now, we're under a siege at the moment. We've had uh, some little lads from the north come down. Where are they? Are they in the north? I don't see them. Let's have a little, uh, little Z on that. Let's get the alert up. Press Z. Here they are, in the top left corner, low down in the valley, not high in the mountain. And we've got a few gobbos. If we zoom in a bit, we can get a bit of a better idea of their numbers. Mind you, this is just the vanguard. There's probably more off map just waiting to pour into my little domain. One, two, three, four. There's only four of them there. Let's have a look on the U menu at the others. Yep, only four on the map so far. That's interesting enough. What we're going to do is we're going to call everybody into the uh, alert room, which I believe I set as the food hall. And then once that's happened, we're going to lift up the old bridge and we're going to let the intruders mill around outside aimlessly for a little while, give them a moment to think about what they're doing, a possible chance to reflect on the foolhardy nature of attacking a dwarf fortress with all of its traps and tricks. And then while they're doing that, we'll probably slam in a few more traps to chop them up and uh, then we'll open up the gate and see what happens. But for now, it's time to flee to the insides and abandon the outsides. Okay, the gobbos could be coming in quickly. They're probably over here somewhere, I think. Where are those naughty boys? Oh, we've got a... We've got a trouble person here, Melbill. It's not a named person, it's a merchant. Is that a, a merchant who's coming or going? Presumably coming. Where's all the go Ah, here they are. Look, here's some gobbos. There's way more of them than just the initial four. I knew that was just a small tip of the iceberg kind of force. Okay, they're obviously going to have more numbers. I'm going to watch the gate a bit. Actually, should I should I zoom out a shade? Zoom out a little bit. Go down at the hill a bit and just watch the gobbos advance. And then as they get too close... Where are they? Down here. There they are. Let's watch them a bit. Okay, this looks like the bulk of their force is on the map now. I don't think they're going to have a second wave. Let's come up a few floors. How close are they? They are getting worryingly close. Let's pause and have a little survey for outdoorsy dwarves. Anybody out here? Is it just old uh, Melville the... Oh, he's horribly injured. He fought the um, beastie that was outside, wasn't it? Isn't it? Didn't he? That's the words I'm looking for, didn't he? Hmm... Okay, I don't think we need to worry about getting him indoors. How many dwarves have we got? 79, it says on Dwarf Therapist. If I come and look up here, we'll just eyeball it. Does that look like 79 dwarves? Not really. It looks a bit thin for 79. Let's uh, check the other layers of our fortress. Although all those who are inside would definitely have got to the dining hall by now, right? Unless we've got some real workaholics toiling away down in the furnaces. Oh my goodness, we have. Who is this work-obsessed little fella? Irvad Inthezes, the bookbinder. Okay. Okay, looks like he's hauling some uh, copper bars or something, but uh, we'll see. Who knows? Maybe he's gripped by a mood. Let's look at him for a sec. Where is he? No. He's just in a bad mood. Hardly surprising. Um, okay, so much as it looks like we don't have 79 dwarves in the dining hall... I'm not entirely sure how there could possibly be that many dwarves outside anymore. Old Melville. Oh, look, here we got a lad. we got a lad right here. What's he doing? That's Tun, the animal trainer. Well, we don't have any animals that really need training, so... Maybe we just let him die? Maybe the goblins can uh, have him as a distraction? Like chaff or a flare. Let's imagine the fortress is some kind of fighter jet, and in order to distract the homing missiles that have been heading our way for god knows how long, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, how long does a homing missile fly for? I don't know. Probably miles. Probably days. They could probably go around the world again and again and again and they just go, oh, there's one bang. No, that's drones, isn't it? Anyway, I'm getting off point. Um, what we'll do is we'll dispatch the chaff, and hopefully the heat-seeking missiles... Is it chaff or flares for heat-seeking missiles? 
doesn't matter. It's not important to the metaphor. We're going to dispatch. Okay. All right. Okay. We're being chased by a flock of militant military magpies, and they're coming after us. And instead of chaff or flares, we scatter shining little bits of foil to distract them and make them want to pick stuff up. Or maybe, I don't know, shiny coins. Whatever. This has gone horribly off piste. Let's uh, let's look at chat and see if this can save me. What have we got here? No, oh, there's a new name in chat. Hello, Shizu. Welcome to the stream. If you haven't already evacuated. Uh, the stream, rather than yourself, that would be... Oh dear. Uh, how many enemies are besieging me? That is a good question. I'll check that on the U button in a second. Flares for heat seekers. Chaff for radar tracking based missiles. Ooh. Somebody's, uh, somebody's got a little bit uh, of knowledge there about airplanes. You might have played a flight sim. I'm going to guess. I'm just going to hazard a guess. I mean, the other choice is that you could possibly have flown one of these planes. Or watch a documentary about them, I suppose. Actually, there's a lot of ways to attain that knowledge. I mean, I kind of had it. I was halfway there. Hmm. I'm not going to make any assumptions about you based on just your knowledge of chaff and other kind of missile-based in information. Um, tiny bits of foil is literally what chaff is. Well, there we go. Maybe you could distract a flock of angry magpies with chaff. Um, what does it mean? Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. And hello to you too. Anyway, let's not get too distracted. <coughs> We've already had many, many ridiculously pointless tangents. We want to focus on the fortress and make sure stuff happens in the game. People aren't here to watch my lips flap. They're here to uh, watch dwarves get in a flap. Whatever. Uh, is he moving towards the fortress? Can we afford to give him that life-saving time? Ooh, hello. Thank you very much. What does it mean? Mm, bitty bitty. Very nice. That not... Don't worry. I was about to go off on another one there. I'll, I'll rein it in. Chaff is a bunch of particulate and foil that gets jettisoned from the plane in order to make lots of duplicate radar contacts. Ah, I think that information may have already been put into my head. However, it's a bit loosely organised in there, so it's a bit hard to pull specific facts out on cue. But hey, <laughs> bitty indeed, tiddy, tiddy, tiddy tidy. Um, it's an open question. I don't know. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, where were we? Yes, I was going to pull the lever. Now, how far has he got to go? What's he carrying there? A big red T, presumably a corpse of some kind of animal. He is carrying a... What do you got? Come on. Um, <laughs> inventory, excuse me. A troll corpse. What have you got that for? Can we eat troll? You know what? If he wants a trophy, he wants a trophy. He must have earned it. Otherwise, where'd he get a troll corpse from? Then again, maybe he just found it out there. Maybe someone else did the hard work. <gasps> Ooh, God, I thought that cat was a goblin. Mind you, they are pretty fucking close, aren't they? How close do we get? let him get before we pull the lever? How close do we let him get before we pull the lever? Because there's a good chance of him being annihilated by that thing lifting up. It could fling him into the ceiling, into the wall at the back of the corridor. Well, regardless, it's going to be interesting. Uh, let's uh, go straight down there now, and I'm going to pull the lever. I'm going to be a nervous Nelly. There's already somebody standing on it, so it's probably just going to get pulled immediately. What the name of hell happened there? Everybody calm down. Let's try that again with the mouse click. There. And now the lever, and now the lever. There's the lever. Add a new task. Pull lever. Do it now. Okay. Excellent. So now we go up to the surface, and we wait. What happens? Come on there, lad. You can get it in. You can get in. You can make it. Ooh, the cat was obliterated. Uh-oh. Uh, it looks like it's uh, too late for old Wasis' face out here as well. Pelted with arrows and chased across the volcano side. Ah. Oh. Well, you tried. There he is. There's his body. There's his trail of blood. Now, hopefully... That um, forgotten beast blood that was deadly is still potent, and these goblins will wander around distractedly traipsing through it, unknowingly infecting themselves. That would be what I would consider an ideal outcome, but I'm not expecting that. I'm just hoping for it. Got my little fingers crossed here. I don't know if you can see. Now we've closed the gates, we can call off the military alert. So there's no need for that. Let's go into the siege hall, turn that off. Lovely. People can get back to work. Ish. I mean, there's no gathering of fruit, so we are going to have a little bit of a booze crisis. However, we have time to consider our options. Now, how many... Oh, sorry, you want to see how many invaders there are, don't you? Not too many, uh, because there's only 19 others on the map, and many of those are chinchillas and cave crocodiles. Cave crocodiles not to be sniffed at, but chinchillas. They have some of the densest fur, if not the densest fur, of the uh, rodent kingdom. 
Is it a kingdom? Phylum? I don't know. Um, what was I saying? All I can think about now is, uh, in a very depraved manner, sinking my hands into chinchilla-lined gloves. <coughs> um, anyway, where was I? Um, goblin spearmen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten goblins have invaded, so we can deal with them. I'm pretty sure we can deal with them. Uh, uh, if only it was an elven siege. Those tree-hugging plonkers need a good hiding. I'm... I, I might couch that in stronger terms. I feel like that they need eradicating, uh, and then all evidence of their culture should be eradicated as well. And any tree that they have touched or lived in should be chopped down, ground into fine dust and then burned, and then those ashes should be burned, and then whatever's left should be scattered and burned again. You know, obviously, to burn it that many times after scattering as well, you can need a lot of it, which is okay, because we're killing all of them. Elves. Disgusting. Um, where were we? Um, forbid the troll body and hopefully he'll run. Wow. <clears throat> a little bit late for me to notice that one, isn't it? I should have looked a bit bit earlier. He is with Armok now. He's off in a better place. Or is he? I don't know. Maybe it's worse. There's a good chance it gets worse. So, uh, let's check our stocks and see how many of these lovely green glass discs we have. Show me your discs, please very dangerous phrase to uh, transpose any letters in accidentally. Uh, where were we? This, uh, spinning. Let's call them spinning. No, no they're, not, they're not spinning yet. Uh, green glass. There we go. Serrated. That's the word I was looking for. One, three, four, nine. Not enough for another trap yet. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, a green glass astesh. Currently forbidden. Probably from the crew that got annihilated outside fighting the Forgotten Beast. I remember the, uh, at least I think, the traders went out and tried to fight it. They certainly left behind a shitload of stuff here, haven't they? Echidna parchment sheets. I definitely didn't buy them. They must have been abandoned by the, uh, by the dead ones. Uh, we have got a military on the go. They are training, and there should be ten of them. Although I note that one of them has brought a baby to the exercise, which is probably not going to be ideal going to be a little bit of a hindrance, I would imagine. I'm, I'm pretty sure most armed forces train without babies. Certainly, I mean, maybe they have babies, but I, I, I don't think uh, they bring them when they're doing the, uh, the, 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 you know, the hard work, as it were. Then again, what do I know? Maybe not. Maybe they do. Maybe babies are a vital part of the war effort. Maybe because they've got tiny little fingers, they can push smaller buttons so you can cram more controls on a war machine and kill more people? Sure, sure. That's definitely how it works. That's how I. That's, that's my vision of war from now on. Little babies gang, <laughs> unknowingly annihilating the population of the world, ten thousand at a time. Wow. They say war never changes, and obviously it, it will. <clears throat> anyway, where was I? Uh, I was going off on a weird tangent, wasn't I? And I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Oh yes, admiring my military forces, which at the moment, let's face it, are not tip top. They're not the uh, the most well-trained boys. Let's have a look at them in Therapist and see what's going on. Uh, the Swift Trades is our only squad, and they currently, if we refresh here, have... What skills? What have you got here? I mean, they're not a bad bunch in terms of their initial bed of skills to be trained, but they are a bit of a mixed bag. What do we need? We need two axes, <coughs> excuse me, three hammers, uh, a mace, uh, several spears, one, two, three, four spears, and a sword. Well, I think we've got the materials to make these weapons, but I'm not entirely sure how effective those weapons will be, because the materials we have are mainly copper and lead and shit like that, and although I can imagine a lead weight being a pretty effective thing to drop on someone or indeed shoot at someone, it's not going to be particularly useful for a blade, a cutting blade. Uh, Good old therapist indeed. Hmm, look at this focus, says Jadion. Indeed. Oh, Jadion, I'm pretty sure that your last dwarf here has met a sticky end. Either died of thirst or murdered by a forgotten beast, I'm not sure. We could probably find out at some point, but for now it will remain a tantalising mystery box. <clears throat> okay, uh, where were we? We were looking at here, they were looking at what we need. Uh, I should probably make a note of this, shouldn't I? Uh, where's my notepad? Open up notepad. Why not, scoundrel? 
Okay, so two acts, bear with me, two acts. Says, let's pluralize that correctly. Uh, it's three hammers. Three hammers. There we go. Uh, no knives. One mace. There we go. Not to be confused with the. That's a nace. I don't want a nace. I want a mace. There we go. Not to be confused with the canned pepper spray. Um, <clears throat> how many spears? Four. Four spears. Four spears, there we go, and the final one is a sword. One sword. There we go, I've got notes now. We can uh, return to uh, Dwarf Fortress. Having said that, I haven't moved the windows on my screen at all. I can still just look at Dwarf Therapist. Taking these notes was entirely superfluous. Oh well, <clears throat> live and learn, as they say. Uh, quite a disparity in the heroism of those deaths. That's true, but remember, no dwarven death is truly heroic. I mean, sure, sometimes they have the facade of heroism, but they're just numbers. They're just numbers. They're just, they need to worry about them. They can't feel any pain. And equally, they only feel sort of... What's the word? Um, abstract. Not abstract. Oh dear, this is a toughie. I can, I can feel this one's going to be difficult. Harder to pass than a, a five-day stall, I think. Bear with me. I'm giving it a good go. I'm trying to push against the resistive sphincter of my outer consciousness and pull some ideas from deeper within my mind. Hold on, it's coming. It's coming. No, I've entirely forgotten what I was talking about. We better get on with things. Um, so, making weapons. Let's do that. Let's go down to the uh, F3, F2. Let's go down to the F2 zone and take a look at our little weapon smithing studio that we have here. Add a new task. Weapons and ammunition. Yes, please. Now. Ah, okay. It doesn't give me any information about how much I have. I need to do a little survey of my stocks first. So let's go to press Z and type E and then... Oh, sorry. Stocks, then E, then B, A, R, S. This should give us all of our materials. So, uh, a little bit of aluminum. Aluminum? Aluminium. Fuck me. What's happened? Ooh. Sorry. Uh, billion bars, bismuth bronze bars, although there's only one of each of these, so they're incorrectly pluralized. Uh, brass bars, copper bars. Can we make copper weapons? I can't imagine they're fantastic, but they've got to be better than nothing. Uh, copper bars, gold bars, iron bars. Oh, we've actually got a fair shake of iron. Interesting. And a couple of steel bars as well. Okay. And a hell of a lot of silver. Well, silver hammers. We all know how cool they are. So let's get ourselves three silver hammers, shall we? Uh, let's order those up first. So add weapons, uh, silver. I would like three silver war hammers, please. Um, ah, do I want to just add three of those? I can't order. I could do it through the uh, manager, actually, couldn't I? Let's do it that way. Because we're not doing, like, stock levels and stuff, we'll just go through the straight-up manager. Uh, silver Warhammer. There we go. How many of those do I want again? Three? I think so. Uh, let's also add Silver Mace. You want one of those, please? Uh, what was the other one? Axes. We'll make those out of iron. Is iron better than silver for axes? Copper makes workable weapon, work, workable edge weapons. Good, good. Well, maybe we'll work with that. But I think with the amount of iron we have, we should be able to bang out some stuff. And I'm guessing iron is better than copper for weapons. I mean, it is a guess. It's a very weak guess, but it could be right. Silver hammers are great. It's been a while since I've not had steel for my military, but I think you can make copper hammers and they're all right. Okay. Would be better smelted into bronze. What do you mix with... Uh, is it tin? I don't know if we've got any tin. <clears throat> tin is... Uh, sorry, bronze is copper and tin, right? Copper is good for crossbows. Very heavy, almost as good as silver. Okay. Okay. Alright, well anyway, we've got our blunt weapons out of the way. Uh, we want spears next. Uh, silver or iron? I don't believe we have any tin. Right, let's make some iron spears. I'm guessing iron is good for spears. Uh, Q iron spear. There we go. I want four of those. Thank you. Um, one sword. I mean, we've got two pieces of steel. Maybe we'll give him a steel sword. I mean, he's pretty high skilled. Then again, we could make a steel axe for our leader. 
old Joseph Rue. Hmm. Hmm. Steel Sword, Steel Axe, what do we think? What is the opinion of chat? Speak to me, gallery. Help me with my decision making, for I am notoriously poor. Well, I'm not watching the stream on my phone. I'm not getting that cheeky free view. What the hell am I doing? It's almost like I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. Press the... That's it. Oh, yes. Touch screens. Difficult to operate, I know. There we go. Uh, where was that? That was someone saying in chat. Steel. Talk about luxury. Steel axe. Okay. And my axe. Uh, Q-S-T-E-E-L-A-X-E. Uh, steel battle axe. I need one of those. And then, of course, we'll make an iron sword. Iron sword. <clears throat> and we only need one of those. Fantastic. Good stuff. So, uh, two axes. Yeah. Axes, hammers, maces, spears, and sword. Axe, sword, spear, mace, warhammer. Fine. Good. Everything is in, in the queue. We're ready. Let's check we've got a noble to actually hand those jobs out. No chief medical dwarf yet, no militia commander and no hammerer, but for all the like, basic non-military roles, we're good. So, let's resume the action and get those weapons cranked out as quickly as possible. It might make sense to also order up some armour. Oh, someone's found a dead pig. Uh, can't brew any more drinks, that's a problem. That's okay. How's copper for armour? What do you reckon? Copper for armor. Should we make up some copper armor, or is it not worth it? I don't. I think it's too ductile, isn't it? it doesn't. I mean, you bang a pick into a breastplate made of copper, and it's just going to go straight through. How much iron did we have again? It wasn't anywhere near the realm of the copper we have, was it? And then again, like you say, bronze armor. But do we have any tin? Let's have a little look. Let's go to our stock screen again and look at our bars. <clears throat> uh, not a single bit of tin. We've got a lot of silver, we've got a lot of brass, is that brass, sorry? No, two brass, a lot of silver, a lot of copper, and a bit of iron. I reckon 48 might get us a bit of armour. Hmm. Then again, I'm hoping my traps will do better. I wonder how many serrated green glass discs we've pushed out. They're all suspended, what have you done? Stop it, no, no, don't remove it. Oh shit. Oh no, I fully fucked it up. Uh, green glass, uh, serrated green glass discs. There we go. And then what was it? Alt W. Uh, yeah. And then yeah, sure, whatever. <clears throat> now I think the limiting factor here is sand, right? Uh, how do I unsuspend it? Yes, there we go. Oh, hello. There we go, all removed, all removed, much like the sand in our stockpiles. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, this sand ain't lasting long, is it? It's not lasting long at all. I think copper armor might be okay against slashes, but not much else. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got so much copper, it, it seems like even if it's uh, a small token offering, we may as well make it, right? We may as well make it. Uh, let's do a bit of digging here to expose some more sand. Sand exposed. Uh, collect sand is all completely uh, suspended, but that's fine. We can just dig out a bit more here like this. That should yield a fairly hearty supply of sand, I think. Get the miners down there, do the digging. Steel headgear is priority. Well, we've got to get the steel first, that's the thing. I feel like we'll be trading for steel in fairly short order. I think if we make lots of uh, silver spiked balls, spiked metal balls, that would probably work out quite well for us. I mean, if wood is that valuable once you turn it into spiked balls, what the hell is going to happen to precious metals, eh? Aye? 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 Sorry. <clears throat> oh, hello, are they going to get sand? They might be. Oh, they're coming down with the bags. Look, it's green glass disc time. They're no longer uh, worried about... Uh, is it just... Okay, I've still got to expand the collection area, but it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be good. Look at all that lovely sand. Whoa, we're going to have some traps out of this, provided we don't all die of thirst beforehand. 
Then again, we have got a well. So, oh, somebody found the kitten. Must have uh, had a look at the workings of the uh, drawbridge. Because I'm pretty sure that's where the kitten ended up. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, put a zone here. There we go. And then turn it into a sand collecting area. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. And now we should see sand, yes, appearing in our stockpiles. And our little serrated glass disc boys should be hard at work creating spinning little vortices of death for the intruders. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm sure we'll get a few severed body parts flying through the air in short order. With a bit of green blood coming off of them. Wouldn't that be lovely? Maybe we should tempt them. I mean, I could just build another drawbridge here that opens at the opposite to the other one, so they like go bang, bang, or rather, like, open, they come in, close, slam. Oh, it's too much effort to think about. We'll just put some traps in. Traps will do. Traps will be fine. Uh, we should have 10 green slated, slated, serrated glass discs now, so <clears throat> I'm going to build a trap. Uh, I'm going to make it a weapon trap. Oop, weapon trap, there we go. I'm going to pop it there, and we're going to give it all the mechanisms it needs. And, oh, only two? Huh. We could have sworn there were more in the offing, but... Okay. If that's how it is, that is how it is. That is how it is. Uh, do you have anything else? Any non-weapons-grade metal to make spiked balls out of? Uh, lead? I could do that. But we've got so much silver. Uh, see you later, Jodian. Have fun streaming. Maybe we'll raid you later on if you're still going. Who knows? Who knows? Um, where were we? Uh, yes, we were watching the levels of green serrated glass discs coming off the production line with a somewhat raised eyebrow. Are they actually collecting sand again? Yes, they are. Look at this. Oh, okay. They're doing it in this room still. Okay. Fine. I'm happy with that. As long as sand is coming in and glass blades are being made, it's all good. How's those orders coming on? Holy shit, they finished them all. Sure. Okay, then. Off to the military screen to equip these weapons, then. Uh, the swift trade. So, we want to look at equipment which is e and then right joseph oh joseph rue you want a weapon and we're going to give you now do they cho if, if i give them individual choice will they just choose the weapon they're best at because that's what i want them to do that's what i'd like them to do but no oh shit there's another axe needed i wonder if we've got enough steel for another axe Hello. Preferably yes, but do they? That's the question. Do they actually go and get the weapon they're good for? They know with any of them, they'll pick at random. Okay. Well, they've all got a bit of skill in each one. Test it for science. Okay, then. Let's just give everybody... Take uh, individual choice. Weapon. There we go. Let's do that. So, capital W... Individual choice, weapon, as opposed to individual choice, anything other than a weapon. Uh, individual choice, weapon, there we go. <clears throat> oh, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted. Get out of there, get out of there. W, individual choice, weapon, there we go, down there. W, individual choice, W. Oh, I keep going over to it, but I don't need to. W, that's the one. W, oh. W, oh, I did it again. Right, last one. Don't do it this time. W. There we go. I had to resist, but I didn't do it. So they've all been given individual choice of weapons. That's nice. That's very nice. So uh, that means that our furnaces, uh, they've all gone down to get weapons. So I'm presuming they're going to come down to here. Yeah, look, they're going straight to the workshops and grabbing them all. Very nice, but we do need another axe. Uh, let's check our steel levels out. Uh, stocks. Uh, bars. Oh, we still have a steel bar, so that must mean an axe only takes one. Let's have two steel axes then. J, M, Q. 
S T E E L A X. There we go. Just the one, please. Thank you. <clears throat> and then maybe we should put in an order for 10 pieces of armor. Uh, I can't remember the full set of armor, though. That's the problem. Maybe I should do everybody shields. Copper shields? Iron shields? What do we reckon? They might pick crossbows. Oh, God. I don't think we've got any crossbows, so their choices there are quite limited. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to put in an order for spike wooden balls or something. Steel battle axe, copper bin, add a task, uh, trap components, there we go. I would like to make them out of... Can we make them out of lead? We definitely can't. We can make them out of silver or copper. I'm thinking... Alright, then we'll make spike copper balls. Why not? Bacterial resistance. Spiked copper ball, there we go. And then I would like to put some rules on that, please. Uh, I would like to add constraints. I would like to make ball of copper. And no, 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 I don't want 10 in stock. I think we're going to need to change the range significantly. I want uh, 50 to 100. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. There we go. Uh, and back out. Nice. That should use up some of the copper we have. Because we do have quite a bit. Um, so, let's go... If I remember the route correctly, I should really put more hotkeys in. Let's check out our stockpiles. We're doing good. All of our stockpiles seem to be getting full, so we can actually do something about that. Our green glass discs... Oh, sorry, these are spiked fungi wood balls. Oh. Okay, we've still got some wooden balls left to trade. Interesting. I wasn't expecting to see those there. <clears throat> Never mind. Okay, uh, what else am I looking at in here? We've got stockpiles for slabs, doors, mechanisms, beds, graves, or coffins rather, tables and chairs, chests, not chests, what are they called? Bureaus? Uh, wardrobes. Cabinets? Cabinets, that's what they're called. Armor stands, weapon racks, and uh, what's this bad boy? A weapon stockpile. Oh. oh, that's for green glass discs, isn't it? Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Maybe I can put another trap down? What do we reckon? Another trap? Let's try it. Uh, build, trap, weapon trap. Pop that there and make it out of firelight mechanisms and still only two serrated green glass discs. Interesting. I'm going to check the stocks because I'm fairly confident we had more than that. Okay. In a job. Fine. How is that? Another one in a job. And this one's forbidden. A serrated steel disc. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's unforbid that. And maybe melt it? Because as cool as it is, we're all about the glass here. We're all about the glass. We don't really care about other stuff like that. So six... So why are these not available? Why can these not be put into traps? That's what I want to know. There's only these two here that are in jobs and inventories. The rest of them are all fine, right? Ah, oh dear. <clears throat> Let's try one more time. Build, trap, weapon trap, place there, firelight mechanisms. I want these serrated green glass discs, and are there more? No, there aren't. But why? Why? Question mark. Hmm. The others are probably in traps already. Ah, okay. I should have a lot of bags. Is any of this shit in here forbidden? Oh, I don't... Doesn't look like it. Got lots of bags in there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hang on. Cancels need sand-bearing item. Okay, we don't have the bags, apparently. Apparently we have limited bag capacity. Although they seem to be dropping them. I think we just got like a little selection of bags that are going round and round and round. Yeah, look. Off it goes, doing the little merry-go-round. Probably ending up getting other stuff put in them as well. Probably going to end up with uh, seeds and whatnot taking their place, which is, in my opinion, unacceptable. What's all this they've dropped here? 
giant crow leather left mittens, pigtail sock. Why is this all forbidden? Uh, D, uh, B, C, I think, for reclaim. Yes, except it was already uh, the selected tool, so never mind. Okay, that can get picked up again. All right. Coming back up again. This is all looking good. I'm going to place some more beds in the uh, in the dormitory area, in the sleeping zone. Uh, mainly because we have beds, and it doesn't do to keep our stocks full for too long. Uh, beds in here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And then we'll pop doors on them. <clears throat> and even though we haven't made them bedrooms, I'm pretty sure dwarves will start using them as such before we've even got round to thinking about sorting it out. Lovely. Okay, keep it coming. Keep it going, game. Now these lots should be training. They look like they're training. Let's have a little look. Click on this here. Uh, what are you up to? What are you up to currently? Uh, G for general? Individual combat drill. Okay. Is everybody doing individual combat drills? I feel like I need to check the military training schedule. Uh, train, 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 train. Okay. Train 10 minimum. Okay, so they've all got to be in there to train. All right, well, we'll leave it as it is for now. It looks like they're doing lots of training. It's all good. I'm going to have a quick refresh of Dwarf Therapist and see if it's made any improvements. No. No. Pretty much no improvements whatsoever. Do we sally forth to attack the goblins yet? And attempt to repel their uh, siege? Or what? What's the deal here? What should I plan? I mean, I feel like the serrated green glass disc situation is going to be pretty bad for a while. Sure, the sand is getting moved, but it's just not getting moved fast enough. Our bags are severely lacking. Maybe um, an expansion of the farming zone <clears throat> will allow for more... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start digging out this, uh, this bad boy up here a bit more. Yeah, I know. Call me crazy, but I'm going to do it. Uh, so, let's expand out on this side. There we go. We can have the seed stockpile can stay there. We'll dig this out and it should end up being sandy soil. And we can just pop in a buttload more farms. Apparently dwarves cannot live on plump helmets alone, but these guys are going to have to. Or maybe we can see what other crops we can plant. Who knows? Although digging out copper ore does not bode well for farmable soil below. Oh dear. Oh no. Copper nuggets on a soil floor. It's all good. No need to panic everybody. Remain calm. Unclench your buttocks please. It is a uh, position unbecoming. <clears throat> I'm going to need to get myself another drink in a minute. I'm feeling pretty parched. How long have we been going? Half hour? 51 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we do need more bags for sure, although we should have in here a hell of a load of bags already, because we did, I'm pretty sure we bought some. Leather bin, hemp thread, okay, maybe it's, uh, maybe there's not the bags I thought there were. They're not the bags I thought they were. <sighs> Come on, military, get good. Get good with a G-U-D. Show me how good you can get. Uh, the skills aren't going up as fast as I would like, especially not with the siege breathing down our necks. I should check the food stockpiles, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Z. Hello? That's not what I asked for. Z. There we go. Kitchen. 16 plump helmets. Ooh, that is not many. Seeds. We've got a plenty load of seeds. Actually okay for booze. Look at this. 464 dwarven wines. Very nice. Eesh. Okay. Oh wow, they are living on plump helmets and nothing else, aren't they? Shit, we need to massively up plump helmet production just to get through this siege. Okay, let's go down the floor. They've dug out the area, I presume. Nearly. 
there we go, all dug out. So, in that case, oh, not quite. B, P, uh, and then, is it, can I? I might just make a massive farm plot. I've never really done that before. I've always planted them in strips for some reason. I must have read it in a tutorial somewhere at some point. But I'm going to try one massive fuck-off farm plot and see how much plump helmet I can pump into the world. Come on. Build me that plot. Let's get those plump helmets going. They do seem to be harvesting the ones we've got pretty aggressively. They're coming in and out very rapidly and digging stuff up. I think they might actually be coming here to eat. It could be that bad. We'll see though, we'll see. Come on, get that farm done. Or are you just going to walk around? Oh, have they got to remove every single piece of debris underneath it? No wonder it's taking an age. They've only got the one lad on it. Oh dear. Okay. Keep going. Only a few more bits. Four, five, and the one you're carrying, six. Come on. At least my favourite song from the Dwarf Fortress soundtrack is playing, isn't it? That's good. Let's make it makes it much more soothing. Much more relaxing. Ah. Ooh. Truly beautiful dwarven singing. Oh, I've got it paused. That's embarrassing. Okay, so where are you, gobbos? What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you up to? Hanging out here, playing around. Let's have a little look. Where are you? Oh, fuck. We did seal this off, right? did seal that off, right? Right? Is that a dead goblin? Please be a dead goblin. It's a gremlin. Oh dear. Right. So they can get into the caves. I don't think there's a, uh, a direct passage in. Unless they can climb up our well, we should be safe, I think. Let's just zoom out quickly and check that we haven't imprudently penetrated the caverns anywhere else. Because I'm worried. Just a little bit nervous. It looks okay. We have uncovered pretty much all of the cavern. That is a fuck-off cavern layer as well. Look at the size of it. What's going on up in this top left-hand corner, eh? Is this goblins causing a ruckus? It's goblins causing a bloody ruckus. Mind you, they're, uh, in my opinion, pacifying the caverns for us. Let them go down there, kill all the dangerous wildlife, get beaten up, take a bit of damage, do some work for us. And then when it's time, well, we'll just destroy them. Probably using traps, or even just a drawbridge, going slam, slam, slam. It'll probably work. Let's unpause. I'm reasonably confident we're safe. So let's just check our well shaft actually. Where is it? Have I dug a well on this fort? I'm sure I must have done. Yes, there it is. All the way down, 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 down. Come on, oh, there we go. Ooh, we've got a wee ghosty. That's not a handy thing to have. Zephon Normalenus. Okay, Zephon, I get you. I understand why you're upset. I'd be too. If I'd been left at the bottom of a well, I would be furious. However, you haven't just been left at the bottom of a well. You are going to have a glorious memorial built to you. Wouldn't that be lovely? It'll be a little slab, something tasteful, nothing too garish. Name, cause of death, perhaps a few other details about you on it. What do you reckon? Is that going to make you feel better? It better because otherwise we're calling the Ghostbusters. Uh, Alt-S, there we go. This one's not got a slab engraved and no memorial. Add a new task, there we go. Who's, where's a ghost? Who's this ghost, right? Okay. Oh, it's the same guy. We don't want to do that. Uh, add... Uh, 
Entombed, you don't need to. Very good Swedish band. I've got a 24 lane highway going straight through my head, etc, etc. Wolverine Blues, fantastic album, check it out. Have I just put several Likots in? I put three Likots in. Okay, we don't need three Likots, we only... Okay, let's delete them all in a fit of peak and start again. Ah, Gookie. Gookie Gookie Leruthil. Great, you can go in. Uh, Olon, yes. Tun, yes. Aban, yes. Kate, no, no, no. Uh, slab engraved, entombed. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we engraving memorial slabs for stray cavey pups? This doesn't seem appropriate. This is a massive abuse of our powers or our traditions, whatever, let's just do it, let's get out of the way. Okay, so that workshop's going to be working out. Uh, let's head over to the uh, Cemetery X Warehouse and check that we've got uh, to build uh, Alt S for a slab again? No, no. Yes. Uh, let's place it down here next to the others. There we go, press X to see which are memorials. None of them. All of our extant memorials have been placed. Good. Ah, sweet, sweet memorial time. Now, serrated green glass discs. What's the situation with those now? I'm going to perhaps foolhardily go into the trap construction menu and see if we've got ten that way. It might be wasted time, but it also might not be. Aha! Enough for three more traps, and once again a half beyond that. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, <laughs> press D to be done selecting. Let's build another weapon trap. Let's pop that one in the middle as well. Also with firelight mechanisms. Serrated green glass discs? Definitely. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, then we press D to be done. And then we put another weapon trap down. I think on the bottom. Teehee. Once again, I said bottom. And in goes another large serrated green glass disc set. And bingo. Okay, it's not what I would call perfect for repelling the invaders. However, we could probably bang out some cage traps and pop them in quickly behind, couldn't we? Let's do that. Uh, JMQ uh, CAGE. Uh, not iron cages, we want wooden cages. Uh, and I would like. Um, 3x3 three three will need 9, double it for a spare to reload, that's 18, but then maybe make it 6x3, so twice 18 is uh, 36. Yes, 36, good. Bang. 36 cages, please. If you don't mind. There we go. And then we can put cage traps after the, uh, the blade traps. And I feel like if we put a little few of those down, we can open up the gate, let the goblins in, and see how they fare against our technology, against our wicked traps, our cruel little tools. There we go. Get that in there, lads. Come on. You can do it. It shouldn't take too long. Mind you, the whole... No, 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 stop panicking. The booze situation, not being able to make booze, is not an issue. We have tons of booze stockpiled. Everyone can keep drinking. We've got a well if it comes to it. Oh, they're resuming production of green glass discs. That's a good sign. That should mean that we have another load ready to go into traps, I wonder. Because they're coming in thick and fast, aren't they? They're putting these traps together with uh, a good deal of speed. Let's see if we can put another one down. Build weapon trap. No. No. Trap. Weapon trap. Pop it there. Mica mechanisms. No, we're still only on three. Which is weird, because we had 35 before, and then we used all but five. So, whatever. Uh, we could put spiked copper balls in, but I feel like they're not as exciting as serrated green glass discs. We made a... Uh, a statement of intent about being all about glass in this fortress, so to betray that would be unacceptable. Come on, green glass discs. Load them up. 
Now I want to see goblin parts flying through the air. I want parabolas of goblin blood arced on the walls. Come on. Get those things loaded up. As soon as you get them loaded up, you can get outside, grab more fruit. Bob's your uncle. You're making booze again. Then again, it's actually food that's the issue. They're going to start getting pretty hungry pretty quickly. Maybe we can open the gates? They've got to come up from the caverns, right? Let's check to see how many of them are still there. We are. The numbers are going down. Oh, it's just other things. They're killing everything else on the map. Damn. Why is Zephon Nomalenas undead? Did we not... Let's check again. Uh, let's go down to our Craft Dwarf's workshop. Here we go. Zephon, was he in the queue? Zassit. Add new task. All S. Zephon, Zephon. There he is, Zephon. Slabbing grape. Fantastic. Let's dispel that ghost. Down to the graveyard. Build slab. Let's bung it next to the others. Oh, my elbow. There we go. Press X and excellent. We've got a couple of memorials all queued up and ready to go. Where's all S? Where is it? There is the slab. There it is. Halfway down. Back. Uh, I would like to put it there, please. I would like to check what type of slabs I have. There's another memor memorial. Excuse me. Another slab goes in. Check the list again. Another memorial goes in. Bingo, bango. Let's check just one more time. See if we've got any valid slabs to place or if we have to wait for more to come. Nope. They're all done. They're all sorts of. Don't worry. Okay, that should deal with the ghost. Those traps have been completed, which I think is fantastic. Let's build another weapon trap if we've got enough green glass discs. Hooray! We have. Okay, this is starting to look quite like it might do something useful. Uh, we're also going to want to put some cage traps in as well. So I'm going to do that. Build trap. Uh, cage trap. There we go. Do I have enough cages is the question. Certainly got the mechanisms. Oh, excellent. Oh. Okay, it doesn't seem to question whether or not you have enough cages. It's just, sure, build a cage trap. Oops. There we go. And one more. Yeah, sure. This would probably repel a force of about ten goblins. He said. Not quite sure. Oh, I didn't place that final uh, trap, did I? Blade, trap, weapon trap. In there. Firelight mechanisms. Rated green glass discs. Did I lose the green glass discs? Or have I gone mad? I've gone mad. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's just let this play out for a minute or two. Oh. Yes, please. Thank you. There we go. Oh, God. You can't really see it here, but I'm sitting in a small pink child's chair from Ikea. And although it was adequate at the start of the stream, it's starting to become a bit uncomfortable. My buttocks have been significantly flattened by the plastic. Okay. So, what do we reckon on this siege, then? Are we, are we ready to repel? Are we ready to... Uh... Open our gates? I don't think we are. We need to get those cage traps at least set up before we open it. The green glass discs aren't going to quite mince up all the goblins. <laughs> of all the chairs indeed. Of all the chairs I could have chosen, I had to choose this one. I could have the dining room chair. I mean, see, I've got my computer in a different get-up at the moment. I'm sitting here on this little chair with the ironing board in front of me as a microphone and mouse stand. Ooh, this uncomfortable chair. Oh, we got a save. Nice. Progress nailed down. Yeah, so I'm uh, not in the most comfortable position. Here, have a look. There's my little pink chair. And there's my Salmon Max t-shirt. There we go. Ah, so. Come on, save. You can be done quick, right? You can be quicker than that. While it's happening, I'll read the dwarves and see if any progress has been made. Um, actually, you know what? I think some of our dwarves have leveled up their skills. They've gone from three to four. We've still got people who are only level one on their skills, but whatever. The lower skilled ones... Oh, hello! No, the swords dwarf has got to level six. 
He's talented now, not just proficient, talented. I thought talent was like an intrinsic trait in people, so you couldn't reach the level of talented, could you? You have to be innately talented. You can get good, but talented is like your base level, right? Or am I being silly? I mean, it's happened before. I'm pretty sure it will happen again. Uh, speaking of chairs, while they're doing this, let's place some more tables and chairs in the dining hall. Build, uh, let's do a row of chairs first, because we can. There we go, like that. And then we'll pop some tables in. There we go. Lovely. Have we got room for another row of tables and chairs? I'm not sure without digging out another layer of room. That's okay, we can just... Uh, We'll pop them in anyway, and then if they can't be sat in, well, we'll just uh, dig the wall out behind them. It makes sense. There we go. Dining hall's getting better and better. Better every day. Anyway, what was that in chat? I think the definition of talent is innate, but in actually, in actuality, talent is just skill that other people take for granted. Ah, I suppose that is true. That is uh, a very true way to look at it. Uh, B T W. Can we get another serrated green glass trap in before I throw open that gate? Yeah, yavol. Done. It's going in. Can I put one more in? Maybe fill it off with something other than serrated green glass discs. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I can fill it with green glass discs. Very nice. Okay, once they're done, we're throwing that switch. We're calling back everyone into the siege chamber. Everyone back into the siege chamber, not back everyone into the siege chamber. That's that's the wrong way to say it. The more I practice, the more talented I get. That is true, but I mean you've got to admit that in like school there were people who could just draw stuff. You know, they could just draw a cartoon character or whatever much more easily than other people. There is, I think, talent is a thing. It's not just learned skill. I think some people will absorb skills much faster. I think, you know, because I, I remember being at school with people who could like draw fantastic, like funny cartoons and stuff. And, you know, I, I couldn't, I, I struggled to draw even a, a proportionate stick figure. But there, maybe that's, uh, maybe, maybe I'm just exceptionally shit. There is the possibility of that. Uh, everyone looks at art especially and thinks, gosh, they're just born with it. Well, no way I could ever do that. That's true, people do think that. But I suppose once you uh, look into how it's done, I mean, a lot of like artistic technique is actually just a series of sort of cheats and tricks stacked on top of each other so they all work in harmony, making something that actually works. Because they all feel like little, you know, the little special techniques like perspective lines, all that kind of thing. They feel kind of like you're cheating. They give you a nice little tingly, cheaty feel. Um, but in actual fact, they're just good technique. Bottom-up squash, welcome back to the stream. Maybe it is though because they're always doing it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just liking something enough to do it is like basically what talent is. But I do feel that some people are better at certain things than others. I'm not saying everybody has their own special talent. Um, but, you know, I think there are definitely people who are more inclined to be able to, to pick up the, the skills of doing those things. Because I definitely saw people pick them up a hell of a lot quicker. Like when it came to technical drawing in school, I was like, oh yeah, this is easy, I can do that because you're saying, how long is this? You just got to draw it based off of a, you know, a list of dimensions. So it's easy, you just tell you, they tell you what to draw. But when it comes to actually any kind of, you know, artistic drawing, I was absolutely abominable. Uh, couldn't pick it up for toffee. Yeah, where was I? Uh, a guy I hung out with at school sometimes draws comics for private eye now. Ooh. Oh, very prestigious. Very prestigious indeed. Working for old editor Hislop. Exciting days. Come on, get these bloody cage traps filled up. Oh, did anyone notice that? We went to 104 frames a second. We're not losing frames. This fortress is getting faster. If we go too fast, we might end up going back in time. Which, I think, is how dwarves would perceive it when the game crashes. Come on fill out that last little bit and then we'll call everyone into the into the safe zone the safe zone well safe zone not safe zone i mean it's definitely a zone ah uh, come on get that trap built 
Give me some sweet trapperinos. This could be the last one. Nope, it's not the last one. Not by a long shot. Here comes another one. Is this the last one? Come on. Last one. Last one. La oh. Any more? Surely, well, there must be more. We had the green glass discs to do it. Here we go. Is it... Are these not equipped with cages? I don't think they are, are they? Oh, hello. He's coming in with the mechanism. What? The mechanism goes in last. So they arrange all of the steel, the serrated discs, and then they just go, now we can organise it so it actually goes off. Ah, oh, fuck. The siege left. Okay, that's, that is disappointing, to be honest. I was hoping to do some goblin rending. But uh, if that's the way they want to play it, then that's the way I'll play it too. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck you, goblins. I was getting a nice little surprise I all set up for you. But no, you can't be bothered to wait. Too eager to get home to your soft little goblin beds. Ew, we couldn't possibly hang around for a little while. What do you think this is, a fucking siege? Ew. Little gits. Oh, hello. A rush for the exterior. What are we getting here? What is everybody picking up? <coughs> oh, there's a corpse. They're heading down to... The desert? Oh, no, no. Oh my god, they're going down into the caverns. What's the deal with heading down into the caverns like this? This isn't going to be one of those conga lines of death again, is it? Ah, oh, hang on a minute. We lost two dwarves, I think, and that must have been dwarves in the caverns. Oh no, one of them must have been in the caverns, the others must have been up top. Hmm. Hmm. Now, hopefully they'll collect all the goblinite, if there is any. I mean, they may have just wandered off, or they may have been killed. I could check the alerts, couldn't I? Uh, no, not there. Combat logs? Gelder is fighting, Captain of the Guard is fighting. Okay. Rando's fighting. The Captain of the Guard kicks the Gelder in the head with her right foot, bruising the muscle. The Gelder is having trouble breathing. Okay, so... The Gelder has clearly done something to upset the uh, Captain of the Guard, because they appear to be uh, pretty brutally fucking each other up, actually. Let's, let's try that again. Where, where, where is this? Where is this taking place? In the food hall, for some reason. Or at least it took place in the food hall. This guy here, that's the guy who got beaten up. He's still there. Got any broken bones there? Let's have a look at his wounds. Oh, his right hand's pretty done. He's drowsy and distracted. Okay, well, we'll let him recover. Hopefully he's not going to wake up and be a dick about it. A masterpiece buffalo milk stew. Mmm. Mmm? Mmm. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound great. Oh, the buck rabbit's been found dead. It, a genuine tragedy, if you give a fuck about those things, unlike me. Uh, let's go down here and look for that stack of treasure that should have been left behind when the last lot of traders got annihilated by the Forgotten Beast. Oh god, I hope that blood still isn't potent. Ugh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I can't see their stuff at all. Don't tell me the goblins ran off with it. Those little shits. What a bunch of little wankers. How dare they take my booty. Steal my loot. That's outrageous. Unbelievable. They're almost as bad as elves. Look at all that vomit. Oh, someone's cleaning the vomit up. That's, uh... That's impressive. Who, who is this? Who is this... Who's doing the deed? It's this lad here. Ezum Silobedos, the mechanic. Carry on. Continue your cleansing. It's worked very well so far. Right, it looks like we've got a shitload of thread. We've got a shitload of boxes. We need more stockpiles for this stuff, don't we? Uh, rhyolite, clay, silty clay, leather, larch. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to start with 
putting down some leather and cloth stockpiles. Uh, I really need to put more hotkeys in. So, uh, stockpile, uh, I'm going to say H for cloth. Uh, and I want to make it, uh, can we do 2x5 again? 2 by f yeah, 2, 2, 3, 4. 2x4 two there, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll do a 2x4 for leather as well. Hopefully, we won't ever have more than 8 bins of either. That would be nice, wouldn't it? be lovely. Uh, so, we've got all those spaces there. Um, we also need thread. What kind of stuff is actually, is thread? Like, uh, oh crap, let's go to the cloth stockpile, have a look at what the uh, actual cloth designation is. Right, we don't want thread. Forbid, 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 we just want cloth. There we go. Do we want adamantine cloth in there? Well, we don't want to make any adamantine cloth. That's a massive waste of adamantine. But never mind. Uh, and then leather, it's just all sorts of leather. There's no leather thread, of course, that's crazy. Why would we need to get rid of that? Hopefully they'll bring some copper bins up, because it looks like the leather's getting, like, dumped pretty inefficiently, to be honest. Somebody just put thread into that stockpile after I very expressly forbade that. Let me have a look at this cloth. Yep, 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 all forbidden. Yet still you choose to defy me, you bastards. You little bastards. Okay, right, back up to the surface. What else have we got in this stockpile here? We have... Uh, clay, blocks, thread, chests, chests. We can't build stockpiles specifically for chests, can we? That's a problem. Although we've got lots of bags here, rutile blocks. Do we have a block stockpile? I'm not, I don't think we do, you know. We've got bar stockpiles, sure, but not blocks. Let me go down a couple of floors to the storage hall again. Blocks? We've got any blocks? No, not there. On the floor below? I don't think we do, you know. Okay, we need a block stockpile. Does that need to go in here with the rest of the stuff? I don't know if it does, to be honest. How many uh, orders for blocks have I got? What are my uh, stocks for blocks looking like? Well, that one's not making any blocks. What about over here? Are you making blocks? You're not making blocks. Interesting. Ah, okay. Okay. Hmm. Did someone miss a mandate? Potentially. Oh, hang on. I can't connect to chat. Let's see if I can jog it into life with a quick crom. Nope. Am I still streaming? Apparently so. Okay. It looks like chat's gone down. Uh, I'm going to go and check to see if we have any active mandates quickly before we got start looking into this block storage situation. That's the military screen, you tit. Uh, mayor. What does the mayor require? Export of maces prohibited. Why do I care? Uh, he's got an office and quarters as well. Why is he uh, getting uppity about that? Who's, which one's this one? This one's for the manager. Why is that one not designated? That's for the bookkeeper. Not designated. Broker. Planter. Excuse me? Why does a planter have an office? No. Assign the chair. It can go to the mayor. There we go. Fath the mayor gets it and then we auto allocate it to the mayor. And now we no longer have to worry so much about all that kind of nonsense. Let's put some cabinets in these rooms because they're going to need them. In fact, build uh, armor stands. Yeah, okay, armor stands. Clever. There we go. Oh, look there. There we go. Pop one in each office. Good stuff. Then weapon racks. Everybody gets an armor stand and a weapon rack near the door just in case you have to get it on in an emergency. Uh, cabinet. Nope. Cabinet, yes, F. Uh, I'm going to give everybody two cabinets. Am I? No, I'm going to give everybody one cabinet, apart from the mayor who gets two, and then if I can afford it, I'll put... No, run out of cabinets, that's fine. Uh, what about containers? Containers, chests, they're going to want that, aren't they? H. There we go. Uh, I'm going to place that 
uh, in the corner here. Uh, coffers, same as chests. I think they are, you know, I think they are. Coffer, coffer. Of course, if they aren't the same as chests, then it would be nice to know. Because otherwise, <laughs> I'm doing this for nothing. Okay, well, let's check the mandates again. So the mayor still has requirements. Decent quarters, decent dining room. Two chests. Two cabinets. Okay, so we need another chest. Oh, God. The forgotten beast, Neca Marquestepo, has come. A gigantic feathered snail. It has wings and it is ravening. Its raw umber feathers are long and narrow. Beware its poisonous bite. Okay. Intriguing. Now these little bastards don't set uh, traps off, do they? Where is he? There he is down there. Should we keep eyes on him and see how he goes? He's not moving anywhere. Oh, it's because I haven't unpaused it. There we go. Let's follow him for a second see where he goes. Anyone... Anyone interested in... Uh... Oh, got miasma down here. We have a dwarf currently carrying a corpse. This isn't ideal. Come on, it's a snail. Uh-oh. Did he drop the corpse or did he get dropped? Let's have a look at the combat logs. Uh, where's the Forgotten Beast? Oh, it's the Forgotten Beast hasn't fought yet. Okay. So it's still the Gelder fight that's uh, the only thing of interest that's gone on recently. Let's follow the Forgotten Beast, the old FB. I mean, I feel like we could. this is a good target to test our new military on, right? It's coming up to the surface. It's going relatively slowly. We may be able to bash this bastard. Okay, to the surface. I have a plan. I have a plan! Right, uh, military squad, swift trades, I want you to move... Right here, behind the traps. Okay, are you happy with that? And then now, even though we've got lots of shit that's going to get dropped on the floor, I'm going to go for the alerts and call everybody into the siege hall. Bang, there we go, everybody indoors, please. We'll go down here and check for the Forgotten Beast. In fact, why do that when we can just zoom to it? Why do that? There we go. Okay. He's on the surface. He's heading up. He's coming to our uh, arena. Come on. Let me come. Show us what you got. Show me what you have got. He's coming up. Is he on our level yet? Not quite. He's nearly there couple more floors and he's level with the entrance. Part of me wants to just try and slam him with the gate. If we can get it to go up in time. How far away is he? What route is he taking? This is a very circuitous route to get to the fortress, isn't it? Hello? Or, oh no, here we go. No, no, He's up there. He's nearly there. He's coming in. Oh, there's a baby. Of course there's a baby. What are you doing here? Why have you brought your baby? Melville? Melville Block Tower? What's all that about, hmm? Hmm? I don't think they're even military. I don't see them in the military listings over here. Melville? Melville. Was that the baby's name? Am I looking at the baby right now? Let's have a look. Thickup. Thick up the Spear Dwarf. Okay, alright, you just happened to have brought your baby along. Now Thicker has a level 4 skill in spear use, which would apparently translate to being a skilled spearman. So, fingers crossed it works out okay. Why have you gone out there? I told you all to stand behind the traps. It was a very simple, clear instruction. Let's try this one again. Move to here. Is that good? Everybody come in. No, you thundering great moron. What is this? Are you going to take on the Forgotten Beast on your own? Well, you get him memorialised if you win. <laughs> I'm not exactly holding up high hopes. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Something's gone wrong. We've, we've zoomed to something. What have we zoomed to? Migrants? Holy shit. And they've arrived down here on the other side of the Forgotten Beast. Amazing. 
just what you want. Okay, let's have a look at the combat reports. The Forgotten Beast is definitely fighting now. The Spear Dwarf punches the Forgotten Beast in the left wing. Forgotten Beast... I'm seeing a lot of Forgotten Beast misses the Spear Dwarf. And the, the Dwarf is biting, stabbing with the old spear. Okay, this may not be the, for, the forlorn hope I'd imagined. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. And un, in, in an unusual display of wisdom for a dwarf, they have ditched the baby outside of the combat zone. This could be good. Let's, uh, let's watch the fight unfold. Da, 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 da. Thicket, the Spear Dwarf. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I am now setting the nickname of Thicket to Slayer. Rain in blood, indeed. There we go. Uh, sorry, I just had to go over to the dwarf therapist and do that. But, I mean, that dwarf deserves recognition, to be honest. Nekar the ungodly what now's blood? Who knows? It's an ungodly thing. Which is fine. You know, I think snails are pretty awful in general. And a giant one with feathers is even worse. Okay, so we no need to have our no longer need to have our military stationed. Let's uh, cancel orders. Cancel station. Oh, there we go. And they all go back to training with the baby for some reason. Maybe it's their mascot. Or maybe they're developing some kind of... Uh, oh, we can get rid of the alert, can't we? You know what? We could have done that one with a crit beard's rush just for old time's sake. And in come the migrants, past the splattered snail. Let's check how it went down. Let's check how it was finished. The final move. The Spear Dwarf kicks the Forgotten Beast in the body with her right foot, bruising the muscle and bruising the brain. Ooh. There you go. Died of a bruised brain and a bruised muscle. Very sad. Okay, so we had 95 dwarves. Uh, no, we didn't. We had 70-something. We now have 95 now that our migrants have poured in from abroad. Let's go and take a look at Dwarf Therapist and see what that changes. So we're going over to sort by migration wave. There we go. Back over to the regular labours screen and I'll scroll down to the most recent wave which is 19 dwarves strong. Now uh, I am going to pause the game in the background or let it run. I'm going to pause it for a second because we're not doing anything important that we're waiting for results on. Let's have a little look and see who we've got because I'm seeing some fat numbers. Sure, it's woodcrafting, but it is a level 13 skill. I'm not disappointed with that. Uh, masonry and stone detailing, man, not that interested. Mining, at least we've got another miner come in. Two miners, in fact, that's good. Uh, small numbers, small numbers, although small numbers in medical skills can be good. A talented gelder. We've got a lot of nutloppers turning up here. It seems like the fortress is drawing those with an unnatural desire to remove testicles. Uh, fish dissectors, amazing. What did make you? What made you think you'd be needed here? Uh, a level ten weaponsmith. Hello, are you our best? No, just about pipped at the post by Jadian. Jadian, just about. Uh, what's this level thirteen skill here? Clothes making. Okay, okay. Maybe it's time to get a loom on the go. Maybe it's time to start farming some pigtails. I'm not sure. Okay, so how do they fare in the military? Are they good? Oh, hello, Serol, you talented Spear Dwarf. Well, it says Spear Man, but I'm presuming that's Spear Dwarf. And then we've got a very accomplished Crutch Walker here, which I would guess means they have missing a leg. Who's this person? Uncovered. Legs uncovered, torso uncovered, feet uncovered. Lorbam has turned out half naked, so that's an interesting decision to make. Uh, this one uses hammers, this one uses spears... You know what? Maybe it's worth starting up a second military. I mean... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, chat came back. It's good. It's good. Stop flaming his misplays. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. You can, uh, you can point out my failings if you want to. Let's unpause the action and go back. I don't want to do anything immediately with any of the dwarves that have arrived. So we'll just let things unfold for a while. God damn. I haven't used any dwarf hack today. Well, that's not true. That's not true. I've used, um, what's his name? Workflow, whatever it's called. Why is this green? Because the weapon track's covered in vomit, of course. Why else would it be green? Come on. Come on. I mean, it is made of green glass, I suppose. 
So, uh, how's the sand situation? Pretty rubbish. Pretty rubbish. Not doing very well on the sand front. Holy mother of moly. We have really burned through that copper. Or it's all been moved into uh, bins? Question mark. Fingers crossed. Please. And we've really gone through the ore as well. Holy shit. Maybe it's time to start a proper mining operation. You know, actually get out there and dig up some ores on a grand scale. Because we've rich, we just ripped through those really quickly. Hmm. Okay, we've got to get everything in here out of here. So, uh, okay. We don't need the trader. Okay, but we do want to get all this shit out of here. So, blocks, chests, parchment. Come on, show me more. Threads, chests, parchment. Okay. Uh, how do we deal with the issue of massive stockpiles that needs spreading out? We've got 63 idlers as well. We really need to work on getting some of these people busy. Uh, we're still waiting. I mean, we could knock in some more uh, Mason's Workshop and shit just to, uh, just to keep the throughput. Keep our stockpiles full. Um, I was going to put something in here, wasn't I? It wasn't for chests, because that's not an option. Let's go to custom stockpile, shall we? Custom stockpile. There we go. And if I just go... Um, oh, I don't know. Let's just make a little freaky stockpile here. Like that. Just like that. There we go. And then we'll go and check to see what we can put in it. There we go. Now, uh, let's start down the bottom and look at these additional options. What are they? Allow plant animal, allow non-plant animal, whatever. Sheets. Sure. Let's allow all sheets, or enable sheets. Linen sheets, juke sheets, hemp sheets, and parchment. Okay, that's too big. We don't, we're not having that as to be a, a stockpile for sheets. That's nonsense. Not weapons and trap components, not wood, not cloth, not leather. Finished goods. What do we get in the finished goods category? Chains, flasks, goblets, musical instruments, toys, footwear, heads. Yeah, okay. There's probably a bit of that knocking around. So maybe... Oh, books, backpacks, splints, crutches, tools, toys. Actually, this is a good catch-all. It's a very good catch-all. Just to get stuff indoors. Um... Yeah, maybe we just make a finished goods stockpile. Fuck it. Let's do that. Let's get stuff indoors. It hasn't significantly dented our idlers, but I'm pretty sure some people are going to be rushing stuff down there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, goblets. Goblets and rings and all sorts of bump like that. What we need are bins, but we are com almost completely out of copper now. That's okay, we've got lots of idling miners. So, with that in mind, Let's go down to the deepest reaches of our current fort as it stands. Okay, it's only one floor below, but never mind. Um, is this actually... Yeah, it's on the ground floor, isn't it? It's not quite underground. Um, okay, okay. So, D, I. Let's pop in those and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 floors down. Get those dug out. And once they're dug out, I'm going to do some goddamn vein mining. How do you feel about that? Everyone che cheerful, cheapy, cheapy, cheerful chappies. A gelder is very drowsy. That's fine. You'd be a drowsy gelder. That's absolutely fine. Okay, what's this we've got down here? This is interesting. Stone wall, firelight. Okay. I'm not seeing a lot of exciting ores in here, to be honest. Although we could start mining out some uh, marble for flux stone, right? And that can be used to make steel. We have a fair amount of iron. How is steel done? How do they do steel? Okay, we're all good. Resume. Okay, I'm not seeing... Well, this looks like the kind of stuff you might get some veins in. No? Oh, wow, it's very homogenous all the way down, isn't it? We've got some stuff in here, so let's dig out a little area. Let's dig out a mining station. 
like this. That's it. Just a big old little room. Big old little young room. There we go. Good, good. Good. There we go. Let's let them dig that out and see what it uncovers. Hopefully there'll be some lovely ores. If not, well, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. We've definitely got gems in here, so we can get rid of those. Dig those out nice and quick. However, they can't be turned into metals, which is not ideal. I would prefer to have metals. Actually, what is this wall? Rhyolite. That's not um, an ore. Can't make anything out of that. Doesn't give us any yield. Won't supply us with any effective means of creating metals. And that really is what we want, isn't it? I mean, sure, dwarves are very good at making stuff out of stone. Some would say excellent. But, you know, metal's where it's at, weapons-wise. Oh, that, that pile of finished goods was useless. In fact, it's a stain on my nicely organised workshops, isn't it? My, nice, my nicely organised stockpiles. It's a horrendous stain. Maybe I should start thinking about breaking that out into more sensible stockpiles with controlled levels. This doesn't sound like me, does it? This is very odd. Uh, horn silver block. So that was something we needed, isn't it? A block stockpile. So back down. You know what? I'm not going to put it in that stockpile there. I'm going to put the block stockpile uh, down here opposite one of the craft dwarf workshops. No, opposite one of these mason's workshops. Holy shit, we've got three mason's workshops. Uh, P, uh, B for bar block. Just go over here and I'm going to do that. Take it all the way down the bottom and then click on it to stop it from putting in any bars. We just want blocks. Forbid, forbid. Uh, blocks of whatever. Yeah, that's all cool to me. So that should yield a fairly significant drop in idlers. Oh, we halved them. More than halved them. Oh, they're going nuts for the block hauling. Look at them. Ah, oh, bonkers for blocks. They love it. They absolutely love it. Now, again, we need to start looking for copper. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted getting all these blocks out of your trading depot. Get down to your mining floor and... Mm, very poor. Very poor. Um, oh, hello. We got zoomed to something. An animal dissector being taken by a fey mood. Ooh, me oh my. Let's follow them and see what happens. Oh, hello. Why you no follow? Click F space. There we go. Now, he's almost certainly going to take a Crafts Dwarf workshop. Correct, but the second one for some reason. Let's see what he does with it. He's come out. He's immediately gone to collect something. Uh, Bones, a staple of all of our items in this fortress. No, not bones. He just went towards the bones to pick up a little bit of blue stuff. Interesting. Come on then. What are you going to make? Tidy's guessing at a mug. Do we have any other offers on what it could be? Any predictions? Any thoughts? Bearing in mind, my last few thoughts have been pretty heavy in um, weapon artifacts. We've had a couple of swords, uh, we've had crossbows, we've had all manner of things coming out. And we've had two bone artifact weapons in this fort alone. Come on. Oh, it's excruciating watching him. Look at the others all hair past him. Come on. You can do it. I might have to pop the kettle on in a minute. I'm parched. What time is it? Half past one in the morning. Yeah, probably about time for another drink. And I've been recording for an hour and a half. So maybe we should just take a, a little break. Excuse me burping away. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Did anyone in the squad grab an artifact weapon, by the way? That's a good point. Um, I'm going to go over to Dwarf Therapist. Uh, perhaps foolishly, we're going to let this guy get on with his day. Oh, that's right, he's going down the stairs. Let's go to Dwarf Therapist and take a little peek at our squad. So, search, sort by squad. Up to the top, there they are, the Swift Trades. And now if I hold over here, it should show me what equipment they've got. Uh, weapon, weapon. He's missing a flask and a backpack. Interesting. What's he got in his hand? And a steel battle axe. Uh, this one's got no weapon. They should have a sword. 
That's a little bit disappointing. Okay. Oh no, wait, I saw an iron sword somewhere. It's on their upper body. Okay, probably strapped to their back or something. Uh, this one here has... Uh, hmm. Hang on, I'm going to hover over it again. Oh. Uh, where's the weapon? Bronze battle axe. Okay, we've made a steel one, but whatever. Uh, this one's got... Oh, bronze crossbow. You little shit. You should definitely be using a hammer. Not a crossbow. <sighs> Maybe I need to forbid all the crossbows in the fortress. What about you? What are you using? What are you using? Silver mace. Good. That's the correct weapon. What are you using? You should be using an axe. An axe. Steel battle axe. Yes, good. You should be using a spear. Are you using a spear? You're using an iron spear? That's good. What are you using? Now, th theoretically, no one's going to pick up any of the artifact weapons because... Uh, bronze fucking crossbow. Ugh. Uh, what have you got on you? Iron spear and Olin, you have an iron spear. Okay, so for the most part, they've picked up the correct things. The game has paused for some reason. Let's head back over to Dwarf Fortress and see what's going on. Uh, if I press A, we should be able to see what the alert was. Oh, it's a baby. The jeweler has given birth to a girl. Brilliant. Wow. Amazing. Let's all clap. But a slow clap. Just to indicate how little our interest really is peaked. There you go. Good grief. What do you want, a medal? Excuse me, a little bit of a weird musical skip there. Okay. So I think that block stockpile may well be pretty ramo right by now. Uh, let's go down there and have a look. Oh, it's not too bad. But that's because bins have come off the production line. Cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, totally. I can dig that. Yeah. Let's go down here. We are getting people going up and down these stairs, which presumably means they're picking stuff up. But now I see that big pile of rocks. Yeah. Am I that excited? No, not really. We need to dig some probes out. You can't just sit there going, oh, there's nothing on this floor. This is a mining floor now, and as such, we need to find out what it's about. Find out what's in here. That'll do for now. Get that dug out, and hopefully it'll expose some veins. Uh, you can set them to use any melee weapon in the military screen. I have set them to pick by personal choice, so we'll see. Probes indeed, Cupo. Deep, deep probes. Uh, let's pause the game now. Oh, the mysterious construction's been begun. Thank God it told me, because I completely forgot that was even happening. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit, get a little bit more of a, a broader view of the fort. Have a look at my stockpiles. I do want to get more of these done and get more items sort of separated out from each other, but for now they'll have to do. Uh, let's look at the trade depot again. Have we got rid of all the stuff in there? Not even close. There are a lot of chests. Surely chests are in the furniture stockpiles. Let's try this one more time. Uh, P, U. Uh, I need to go down to the actual storage room. I'm going to make a furniture stockpile. And I'm going to make it like that big. Because I can. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to look at its settings. And we're going to go in and say forbid all. And then we're going to go down here and see if there's anything I want to put in there. Mechanisms, beds, windows, thrones, tables, coffins, statues, slabs, kerns or querns, millstones, armor stands, weapon racks, cabinets, anvils, buckets, bins, boxes and bags. Why can we not just have separate boxes and bags? Because not being able to put chests in is really quite annoying. Oh, large pots slash food storage. Okay. Okay, is that a separate category then? Interesting. Uh, other large tools, sandbags. Yeah, no, that's everything. So it's not particularly exciting, is it? There's not much we can do with this. Just turn it into another boxes and bags and hope it doesn't get rammed with gypsum. Actually, I could go down and turn off gypsum plaster. There's a very clever boy. There's a very, very clever boy indeed. Yeah. Let's see how that works. What goes up? Are you going to bring boxes down there? Or no, it's going to be bags of gypsum plaster, isn't it? 
Of course it fucking is. These guys have got such a hard-on for gypsum plaster, it's unbelievable. Well, they haven't filled it yet. Then again, only a few of them have put... Yep, there we go. Here comes more gypsum plaster. Ooh, traders. Nice. How many wagons? One wagon. Two wagons. Three wagons. Four wagons. It's a biggie. Four wagons. Okay, it's not as big as I'd hoped, but... Uh... Ooh. Kubuk Usutufuz, the animal dissector, has created Usithgen God, a mica crown. She claims it as a family heirloom. Boring. Let's have a little look at it and see what it's like. The Grim Dignity. Oh, hello. 21,000. It's not terrible monetarily, but let's see what the description is like. This is a mica crown. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round cobaltite cabochons and decorated with sheep wool. This object menaces with spikes of cobaltite. On the item is an image of Point Gord, the Horsebone Shortsword, in mica. On the image is an image of Creeping Eyes in silver. On the item is an image of Point Gord, the Horsebone Shortsword, in Elkbone leather. Okay, Elkbone leather. It's, it's got pictures of cool weapons on, and it might be suitable for the royalty of our fortress in the near future, or maybe even distant future, but we'll see. People are dehydrated. Why are these people dehydrated? That's the question. We should have plenty of booze. I'm fairly confident that the stocks are going to be high. Uh, that's the wrong one. Let's go to the kitchen. There we go. Yeah, we've got loads of wine. It's going to be fine, isn't it? What about meat, fish, other? None. Vegetables, five plump helmets, and some seeds. Oh, yeah, I made that farm, didn't I? Holy cow, it's been sitting there unused. So, what do we want? We want uh, more plump helmets, and then in the winter, we also want plump helmets. In the autumn, I would love some plump helmets, and in the spring, we are definitely going to want to grow plump helmets. There we go. Lovely. That should yield significant dividends. Let's get our farmers in there planting, or are they too busy picking from these other fields? I don't know. They're doing alright. They're putting down the spawn. It's all good. And it looks like multiple farmers will use the same area, so that's good. I was worrying that it might be an issue. Oh, the cook is stumbling around obliviously. That's not a good sign. Usually bad. Try disabling cloth and leather materials. Okay. Uh, what was I trying for? Um, presumably you mean in the stockpiles, Kipo. I was going for just chests. I just want them to put all the chests that we've acquired in this stockpile and not all the sodding gypsum leather. Gypsum leather? Gypsum bags. I don't know what I'm talking about leather for. Uh, so you're saying disabling cloth and leather materials. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Plant cloth, leather. Is that going to work? And will they take it out if it's already in there and they're not using it? There's a question. I mean, I could make a separate stockpile for gypsum plaster bags, couldn't I? In fact, we could dig out a hospital. That would probably work even better. What, uh, on the floor between the food zone and the dine and the bedrooms? I think so. Let's do it. We're going to dig out uh, a little tunnel here, like so, using the mouse, because I'm feeling lazy. Uh, and then we'll paint off these two mistakenly placed ones. Pop the mouse there, and we're going to make a hospital that looks like that, because I'm feeling lazy, lazy, lazy. Uh, disable silk and wool too for boxes. Ah, yes. Sounds good. Click. Click, click, S, uh, oh, there we go, materials, uh, silk, yarn, I'm guessing yarn, is there wool? Presumably yarn is wool, right? Yeah, that should be good. That's not going to be enough storage space, actually, for our, uh, for our stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Is this all spike balls? Let me just check the settings on this one. Weapons slash trap components. It's just spike balls, this one. You know what? I'm going to turn this to auto trade. 
So the second they traders turn up. Oh god, they're already here! I forgot. Um Let's trade. No, sorry. Um Let's send our uh, guy in first. There we go. Fantastic. Are they bringing the spiked balls up? Ah, they are indeed. Very nice. Good. Keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Do, 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 do. Right, down to the stockpiles. Just to see what's happening there. Because I feel like they're going to be emptied. But people are going to be bringing them up from the uh, production zone. Because those workshops are probably absolutely chock full of spiked copper balls. Yeah, this one. What do you got in? What do you got in there? Yeah, look at this. That's a lot of balls. Holy shit, that's a lot of balls. Okay, and he's bringing them up. Presumably, hang on. Let's just follow this fella and see what he's up to. Let's see what he's up to. I presume he's going to pop it in the uh, in the stockpile, and then someone's going to run it up. Yeah, there we go, look, and then someone comes along, takes it out and puts it up. We've got like a bucket chain. It's very exciting. Very exciting. We don't want to follow him anymore, though. Let's not do that. Escape. What's going on? Why are we following still? Oh, help! Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so that's going well. We've probably got quite a bit of tradable material in here already. I feel like we need more bins. It, these individually stored spiked balls are going to be a nightmare to get up to the workshop. Get up to the trade depot. Let's see what they say. How much have we got? Okay, we've currently got 17 grand's worth of trade value. Let's see what we can do with it. Do I want to buy all their bars? I don't think I want to buy all their bars. I'll buy the useful stuff. So, in that case, do I want silver? We've probably run out of silver, haven't we? Uh, gold, not interested. Uh, is that it? Alright, if that's all they've got, I'll buy the gold. Uh, I don't really want any kind of gems. Uh, blocks, I'm not really fussed about. Or glass, raw glass is no good. Clay, not interested. Wood, I feel like the caverns are actually providing pretty good wood at the moment. So maybe we don't need to buy any more. Let's keep going down. Almond wood, they've brought a lot of wood, haven't they? It is cheap. If we've got money left over at the end, we'll go buy all the wood. Uh, we've got loads of ropes. Water skins and backpacks. Now, we did have the military complaining of not having enough of that stuff. There we go. Let's uh, let's not buy this £430 water skin. That seems like something that's specially custom made for a gift, right? Ooh, and earthenware OMAP. Let's have a little look at the OMAP. Um, bear with me as I uh, silence old swerwer. <clears throat> This is an earthenware OMEP. The frame is made from earthenware. The body is made from birch. The strings are made from rope reed. The plectrum is made from silver. The OMEP is a large, stationary, cloth-stringed instrument with a ceramic frame and a wooden body. The strings are suspended from the frame down to the body, and the musician plucks the 33 main strings with a metal plectrum. Ten drone strings are occasionally plucked. Tuning is accomplished by pegs. The instrument has a nearly five-octave range, going from an extremely low to a mid-high pitch. The instrument has a graceful, brittle, piercing timber. So I'm thinking it sounds... We've got cloth-stringed, ceramic body, um, graceful, brittle, and piercing. Ding, 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 Maybe? Is that graceful, brittle? piercing? It sounded brittle and piercing, but I'm not sure it had what I would call grace. Still, I tried. I did my best, and I failed. But at least I tried. We've already seen a cock, so I don't need to go and look over that. How about a sand pair wood suku? Cock suku? Sounds like an interesting musical pairing, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'll have a little look at the suku. What's that like? This is a sand pair wood suku. The drums are made from sand pear wood. The stand is made from giant wren bone. The heads are made from giant hamster leather. The suku is a mid-sized stationary percussion instrument. It consists of four hourglass wooden drums with leather heads, which rest on a bone stand. The musician strikes the heads. The instrument has a one-octave range going from a mid-high to a high pitch. Tuning is accomplished by adjusting the tension of the head. The instrument has an evolving raspy timber. So it sounds like one of those snares with a, played with a brush. Tsh! 
Can I roll my tongue and make ch -ch 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 noises at the same time? <laughs> Obviously not. They both use the tongue in different ways. I don't feel like this is going to be an easy one to actually get the sound of. It's a high-pitched drum. That may have come out okay. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, good. Yarn is wool. I'm the thing about the boxes, uh, Cupo, is I just want to try for once sorting my um, stockpiles out into like discrete piles where you know what's in each one. It's all nice and easy because I've never really ever attempted that before. And that little taste of success I having I got from having just a stockpile for doors and a stockpile for coffins was like, oh, I could get very used to this. Yes, indeed. Um, so, where was I? Uh, they don't need backpacks and water skins. It's to store food and drink for when they're in service, but it can get a bit buggy. Okay. Maybe I won't delve too deep into that. Right, back to trade. An uh, Ilmanite Upi. I'm pretty sure we've seen one of those before. A Selenite Strusslot. That sounds like some kind of horrible misogynist euphemism. Come here, you Strusslot. Um, let's have a little look and see what it sounds like, though. This is a selenite strusslot. The strusslot is a mid-sized, hand-held, curved stone horn. The musician blows into the instrument and selects pitch by restricting airflow out of the bell. The instrument has a three-octave range going from a mid-low to a high pitch. At all pitches, the instrument has an evolving timber. It has three registers. The low register has a delicate, wavering, dark timber. We've done this one before, haven't we? Delicate, wavering, and dark. At what pitch is this? Uh, low? There's my delicate, wavering, dark. Um, the middle register begins at middle pitch and has a thin, quavering, rough timber. <laughs> the high register begins at mid-high pitch and has a full, strained, fluid timber. <laughs> fluid. Fluid. <laughs> that's, that's warbling, not fluid. Maybe I can get it through a bit of spit. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm laughing at my own thing there, and it doesn't make any sense why anyone would laugh at that. It wasn't funny. Uh, so, uh, an earthenware anur, that's the giant thing. More cocks and anurs and omeps. No more musical instruments there that we've not seen before. So let's keep going down. And while we're going down, let's turn on the music again. There we go. Turkey hens, not really important to me. Got turkeys already. Zinc cages, rabbits, bulls, camel milk, meh. A canny well beer barrel. We don't need to buy beer and wine at the moment. We're pretty good for that kind of thing. Excuse me, I've got hiccups now. Hiccups and burps at the same time. If I fart, we've hit the triple. Uh, cow's milk barrel. No. Is it all? Hello. Let me hold my breath for a moment. Well, maybe I should just take a break and have a drink. I have been going for a couple of hours now, so I should probably treat myself. Treat myself to a little bit of a shut up and sit down. Well, I am sitting down. Just treat myself to a quick shut up and give my voice a rest. Come on, scoundrel, shut your fucking cake hole. Um, I'm not seeing anything very exciting in this little listing. Lots of weapons and socks, all pretty standard Christmas fare. Uh, helms, gauntlets, mittens, sandbags. Oh, I will definitely purchase all of your sand. However, I'm going to do it at the end with a little search. Uh, rope read bags, bags, bags. I wish I could just filter out all the bags that have stuff in them. That would be nice. I want empty bags. And sand bags. Uh, long yam seeds. Oh, seeds. I'll do seeds on a search as well. We'll come back and search for sand and seeds. For now, I just want to see what they've got in here. Anything interesting? Cloth and leather. Meh. All very much of a muchness. Elk bone amulet. Cougar bone amulet. Bronze bolts. Sunstone crown, cut gems, anvils. Do I want the anvils? I don't really need them at this stage, do I? Let's get all the food. Grizzly bear, sweetbreads, etc, etc. Give everybody who lives in the fortress a chance to get a little bit of protein in them. Something else. Was that prepared? What? 
eagle sweetbreads. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know what I thought I saw there, but it looked very confusing. Asparagus, ratweed, cabbages. Yeah, we'll buy all that stuff. It'll be good. Fantastic. Purple amaranth, capers, strawberries. They've brought a lot of veg. They seem very keen on getting us to eat veg. Uh, let's get rid of the garden... Nope, the hemp thread. There we go, and we're good. Keep going down here past the leather leggings and backpacks. Giant silver axe blades, spiked silver balls, donkey cheese. Now, previously, we've had to forgo the cheese in trades because cheese is actually a fairly expensive commodity. However, this time round, we've got money. Let's not worry about those splints. We'll just get those. Uh, graphite, a graphite jug. I can't imagine that's going to last too long. Uh, copper slicing knife, hematite bookcase, halibut bone, ula drone pipes. Ah, a native silver bound codex. Let's have a little look at what they've got written in there. This is a well-crafted native silver bound codex. The written portion consists of a one-page guide entitled At One with the Farm, authored by Olo Bolchax. It concerns the hamlet, acted tapers. The writing is quite self-indulgent. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Okay, we're not buying that. I'm not interested in that nonsense. But they have brought more codices, so that's nice. This is a claystone bound codex. On the item is an image of a giant copperhead snake in Stibnite. The written portion consists of a one-page essay entitled Irvad Squeeze Traded, The Truth, authored by Irvad Squeeze Traded. It concerns the authoring of Mile and Nothing More by the dwarf Irvad Squeeze Traded in Tongue Phantom in the midsummer of 109. The writing is quite cheerful. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Tongue Phantom. Tongue Phantom. What a name. A giant stoat parchment sheet? Oh, it's a sheet, not a book. They didn't have lots of codices. Just the one codex. No, sorry, two codices. So, we were going to buy sand, weren't we? So, let's do a search for sand bag. There we go. And I can mark all of these up for lovely, lovely trading. Lovely, lovely trading. And then we're also going to do clear that and look for seeds. Nope. S E E D. There we go. It's not a lot of stuff, but it'll do. Turnip seeds, lettuce seeds. I should really check to see what kind of seeds we've got in stock, because I could probably grow a f much more substantial set of foods. Now, what was the thing I was going to go back up to the top for and buy if we had loads of money left over, which we do. It wasn't glass, it wasn't clay, it was the wood, wasn't it? Let's buy the wood just to make sure we've got something to put tears in the eyes of the elves as they turn up. Tears in the Nifir's eyes. Nifir's eyes? Nifir's eyes. There we go. Good. So how much is that worth? Seven grand. Well, this single spike copper ball is worth three. So uh, let's top it off. How much profit you're making? He's making two grand profit. You should be happy with this. Let's trade. Are you sure you want to trade the selected goods? Yes. Yes, I am. He wants more copper balls and two more wooden balls. You know what? What's his profit on that? Six grand? Fuck it. Okay. If that's what you want, that's what you get. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. Yeah, it's nothing personal. It's just business. The trader can go, and now hopefully all the goods will be moved away from the depot at the moment of uh, truth when they leave. How many bins have we got in stock? I, I want to check that. Let's have a look at stocks. E, B, I, N. Uh, bar, block bin, bar, block bin, cloth bin, finished goods bin, gem bin, weapon bin, copper bin. Has that got anything in it? I don't think it has. I think we're good. It looks like we have a stockpile of unused bins, which is good. Although somehow quartzite cabinets and obsidian cabinets have appeared in this search for bins, which is interesting. I don't believe the... Oh, cabinet. Okay, yeah, I see. I see. All right, okay. So maybe we don't have enough bins. We've got some bins, but maybe they're not all there. The food is now flowing down into the area, which is good. I like that. I don't like this miasma. 
what's causing this? Is there a freaking corpse in here? What, what is what is it with these dwarves and leaving corpses lying around? They just do not give a fuck. It's like, oh yeah, I, when I go out to the surface and the sunlight hits my skin, I vomit everywhere. But beyond that, nothing makes me sick. Not even the corpses that lay in my dining hall. Uh, let's put some doors on there. Build doors there and there. Thank you very much. And we'll also need to put some beds in. Because a hospital without beds is pretty useless. Three, one, two, three. Maybe not, though. Maybe, can you think of any examples in which a hospital needs no beds? That should do it. Um, oh, more migrants. Yikes. Is that what we want? I don't think it is, is it? Oh, shit. Let's sort by nothing on the old dwarf therapist. I'll put, unpause this, let the lads on board. Come on. In you come. There you go. We had 95 adults, four children, and one sweet, vulnerable baby. Let's uh, read the dwarves, see what we've got now. 103. Is it going up, or are they all on board now? Looks like everybody's on board. That's good. Let's take a look at migration wave sorting. Down to the bottom. Nine of them. What have we got? We've got a level 10 miner. That's good. We've got a level 10 boa. We've got a level 13 fisher. Meh get down the caverns then. Let's look at their military stats, see how they're doing. Nothing. Utter shite. Who's... what's this? Happiness fine. Stark raving mad. Interesting. A suturer and a trapper and a paper maker. Okay, nobody in one of the vital... oh hello, what's this? Gelder. Nobody in any of the vital trades is going mad just now, so that's okay. I'm not particularly excited with any of this new wave, so we'll just let them sort of slowly integrate and we'll head back over to Dwarf Fortress and carry on with things. There we go, back up to the top. Uh, how can, We can't have run out of plump helmet spawn, can we? That's surely not going to happen. Oh, we do have a lot of plump helmets in the ground, though. Man, our stocks of plump helmets are going to soar. Oh, hello. We've got a starving buffalo calf and a starving goat kid. Well, you know what I can do about that? If I just go up to here, do this, and then say, pin pasture information, and then take out all the non-grazing animals. Bang, bang. Oh, sorry. Not bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, bang, bang. There we go. Bring all of the grazers up to the surface where they will be summarily slaughtered at the beginning of the next siege. It's a kind of sacrifice to safety. Although, that's technically not what we're going to achieve. I don't think the sacrifice is going to achieve any level of safety whatsoever, but it may achieve some small level of delay in the enemy getting to our gates, which is handy. Handy. That's what we want. Any delay is a good delay. Oh no, look, they're still bringing spike balls up for trading. They've absolutely rammed the place full of the things. Damn. We definitely need to put more bins. <laughs> bins in. Mind you, even with pretty much a solid stream of dwarves carrying balls backwards and forwards through the fortress, we still have 40-odd idlers going. Ooh, scratchy, scratchy. Uh, bags too? Question mark. I must have said something that would have elicited that statement, but I can't remember the context of it for the life of me, so you may need to refresh my memory. Oh, buying bags! Fart muckers, yeah. You're not wrong, we could have bought a load of bags. Oh well, it's it's too late to dwell on that now. Uh, you know what, I might just put like our gypsum plaster bags down here, because I've made this ludicrously sized sandstorm, and it's just not getting used, so I'm going down here stone clay gypsum plaster that's okay type sandbag okay cool and if I just make it boxes and bags and then go to materials and take off wood uh, bone tooth horn pearl shell no we want leather so we want silk amber coral glass crystal glass yarn on there we go that should just put all the bags down here right and it will make it very hard to read how much sand we have, but it's okay. I'll live with that. I will survive. I will soldier on and make myself stronger in the process. Oh yeah, a mine. Let's go and check how the mine's going. 
Ooh, we have got some copper. It's not too bad. And that could be gold in the walls there. Right, I'm going to click my little pointer over there. And I'm going to press Control v Oh, very nice. I like that a lot. And another one there, over there. It's not enough copper to really get me excited, but it's enough copper to get us smelting copper again. So what's this? Uh, native gold. Yes, please. Get that vein dug out, please. Thank you. How about what's this? This is red zircon cluster. Okay. It's not as fancy. Ooh. Ooh. There's more gold here than there is copper. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. I can I can live with that. Uh, let's go up here. Now, unfortunately, we do have some nice deposits in the walls up on our first floor, which is awkward because I don't really want to dig them out. Maybe we find some in other areas that would be less worrying to dig out. We could make a mine up here as well, couldn't we? Oh, we've got a pump operator throwing a tantrum. Not ideal. However, I'm going in here. I'm just going to see what this vein is like. We could treat this floor as a mining floor again. I feel like the upper area of the volcano is going to be very rich. Very rich. Full of wonderful treats in terms of mining. Okay, we'll let that copper flow for a bit longer. What's this boy doing? He looks a bit upset. Pump operator. Oh, he's probably the guy who failed the tantrum, isn't he? Ah, well. Uh, should we put some more serrated green glass traps down? I think that's probably a good idea. Build, trap, weapon trap. And we're going to bung it. Where are we going to bung it? Here? Let's put one here. There we go. Mechanisms. Uh, serrated green glass discs. 34. Very nice. we put one there. Nice. And then we'll put another weapon trap here. That'll look good. We'll pop in some serrated green glass discs. Lovely. D. There we go. And can I have another one? Will it fit another one in? Why, yes, of course it will. Good. I like it. It's nice. We could put some spike ball traps in as well. They might be... Uh, they're, they're less cool. They're less exciting than the serrated glass trap, but, you know... There's something about them that might be worth investigating. We really need to close off those caverns from out here. We can't have people going outside the fortress to get down to them. We need some kind of access way that can be controlled. Um, mind you, we haven't even got the fortress anywhere near the level of the caverns yet. I mean, it's way below. Let's zoom out. That's in. Okay, let's zoom out. There we go get ourselves a little idea of just how deep this goes. So, oh, that's, I'm going up. Well done, scoundrel. Going exactly the opposite direction to that which you needed. So there's our fortress, looking pretty paltry, to be fair. And then we come down here. That's the lowest level of active fortress, I think. And any lower than this, it's just mines. Ooh, they're doing pretty good digging out, though, here. They're getting it done quite quickly. Keep going down until we get to where our wells connect. There we go. So I suppose we could give access via the well shaft, couldn't we? That kind of makes sense. Yeah. What I might do is make a little tunnel, right, with a, with a drop pit trap in it, maybe. Or well, just a trap tunnel probably makes more sense, right? And where do we want to connect with the... Uh, connect with it? Let's go upper floor. Let's dig a little tunnel. Oh, hello. This is a little bit zoomed out, isn't it? But I think we need this grand plan. I'll zoom in a little bit just so I can see where I'm putting my cursor. Oh, don't do that. Down like that. That's what we want. Now, where does the cavern system... Come down to here, and then we want to penetrate below the caverns here. Yeah, that seems good. I don't know why my goal is to suddenly get below the caverns. A minute ago it was just to gain access to them, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what's happening in a minute. 
it's obviously very deep and mystical. There's no reason trying to question it. No sense trying to question it, rather. There's plenty of reason to. There's plenty of sense in it as well. Let's just make sure it's doors rather than just open corridor. And then put in a little, uh, little box of delights here. Anyone else from the UK and old enough to remember the TV series The Box of Delights? I barely remember it, to be honest. There we go. We've breached past the caverns without even, even troubling them, even slightly. But if we go like this and dig off a corridor from here, put some more little control valves in it just to make sure nobody's getting... Hang on. zoom in a bit. We're close enough now that we're actually working on the access. Okay, let's dig a bit further. Could just dig straight over like that and then go into there and into there and then we've got a lovely little access way that we can trap to shit. But before we do that, let's just get the tunnel dug and come back when it's time to uh, when it's time to penetrate the cavern wall. Penetration? Yes, no. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, the chat's gone very quiet. Maybe I've lost all my viewers. Let's have a little peek. Just a little cheeky look. Ooh, no, not by a long shot. We've still got loads of people watching. Well, thank you, Silent Majority. You lovely little lurkers, you. So, what's going on here? We've got a lot of ferrying going on, trying to get these uh, spike balls and green glass discs sorted. But it's doing okay. It's not too bad. The wood stockpiles may well be overwhelmed. Let's take a look down at our uh, Crafts Dwarfs workshops and see if the wood stockpiles are full. Very much so. Very much so. Uh, maybe I should just extend the wood stockpile a bit? Make it a bit bigger, let it hold more stuff? Because otherwise we're going to have like a massive backlog stuck in that trade depot for ages. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, the hospital. I forgot to do that. Uh, I. It's going to be a zone. There we go. In it goes. Badang. Make it a hospital. Where's the hospital? H. Budoff. There we go. Excellent. Set hospital information. We haven't got any thread. We haven't got any cloth. Got no splints, crutches. Got a lot of powder. Uh, buckets and soap. No soap as of yet, but I think we'll be good. So, uh, you want powder, do you? You want powder. I am going to say, let's build a little annex off of here to store gypsum plaster. For fuck's sake. Because I really think it's a high time we got this gypsum plaster issue sorted out. So if I make it like that, that should be just about big enough to hold all that gypsum. And while we're at it, let's go down here and... Oh, is this all the gypsum? And why have we got a nice coffer in there? A nice coffer. Hmm. 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 Seen you. Uh, so, I'm going to go in here and we're going to change this to other materials. And we are going to... Uh, no. No. Turn off gypsum plaster. Right, that's how it works. And then we also want to turn off the rocks, the different rock materials. Can we do that? Metal, obviously, that's not a piece of rock. Ah, stone, okay. Oh, I see. It's what the bag's made of, not what not what's in it. Okay, so maybe we forbid stone? slash clay. We'll see what happens with that. It may work out well, it may work out poorly, but the only way to find out how it's going to end up is just by doing it. There's a lot of spiked copper balls in there and some mittens and socks. I feel like the spike ball, the hundred spike ball thing might have been a bit of an issue. I mean, we've got a spike ball stockpile, but it contains no bloody... Uh, no bloody bins. Let's just... There we go. Nine bins. Give me nine bins in there. Is that going to work? Or are you going to ignore me? 
just going to watch that stockpile for a minute. Let's take the wheelbarrows out of this sudden one as well, because it doesn't need them. Uh, max wheelbarrow, one. Oh, okay, that's already been done then. Sure, fair enough. Stream died for me for a moment, it's up now. Not sure if that's why chat went silent. Maybe it did. Oh. It's alright though, it's, it's going now. It's going now. A giant Olm, you say? Uh, let's look at the combat reports and see if that's... Oh dear. Okay, the, the giant Olm has overexerted itself in the caverns, which is interesting. Okay. I've got a lot of people down here really keen on exploiting the cavern's riches, but I'm not sure they're prepared for the wildlife down there. Maybe we need to get our military sharpening their uh, metaphorical blades on them, rather than their actual physical blades, because physical blades tend to get blunter when you hit things with them. Okay, can we put some more serrated green glass discs in, please? Trap, weapon trap, right on the corner, oh, right on the corner here. There we go, mica mechanisms. Uh, yes, we can, another one can go in, fantastic. Done selecting, good -o. Okay, this is, this is not an insignificant defense now. We do have, we do have some Oh, a gelder is starving and dehydrated. He's probably in the hospital. I'm guessing. Let's have a little look at that hospital. Let's see how it goes. They're still digging out the storage room for gypsum plaster bags. I think we need to put some cabinets in here. So B uh, is cabinets, isn't it? F. There we go. And we'll have one cabinet for each bed. We're also going to put in some containers. Yay! Let's put in uh, firelight coffers. Why not? Why ever not? There we go. Cobaltite coffers. Sure. Why not? And sand pear wood chest. Lovely. What else do we need in here? Let's have a little look. Uh, hospital information. No thread, no cloth, no splints, no crutches, no buckets, no soap. Okay, five beds, no tables. Oh, it wants tables, doesn't it? And we need to build some traction benches. Okay, okay, let's put in some tables. B, T. Everybody gets a table next to their bed. How does that sound? Does that sound like a policy decision everyone can get behind? I hope so. There we go. Right, let me look again. Shift H. Uh, traction benches, that was the thing. Lovely. Uh, J and Q trapped. traction benches. Can I have screw it? Let's make five. One for each bed. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's just go ham. Hog wild. Traction benches and tables. Quite right. Quite right. You just just too late for me to absorb the information correctly because I didn't look over in time. But hey, you did your best. You tried your hardest. I failed you. Hooray! Right, let's have a look at the time again. I've been going for two and a quarter hours. I feel like it's almost certainly time to take a break, isn't it? We can't really... The Forgotten Beast, Lenny Wathrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothrothr